Alright, boys and girls, Thursday, 11th, 945 a.m. I've got this CZ457 Iron and EPL Fuller Scope. Uh, we're going in East Square Wood. This is a beautiful day. Uh, especially when you look at what's fixing to happen here in the next 96 hours. It's going to be rough. The wind here yesterday howled, and it's going to howl tomorrow, too. So we're in the woods today. I've done seen several ash trees that blow down in this last windstorm driving back here in this field. Hear him barking up there. See if I can get a shot at him. Speak up in there. Uh, boys, we got us one up here. <clears throat> The only reason I knew where that squirrel was, or even really seen him, is I could see his shadow on that right side of that hill. See how those suns are coming in there? I could see his shadow moving up the side of a tree. He's a cunning little dude, too, but we got him, I think. Yeah, but a little head buster action. Now, if I could get 10 like that right there, that's the best eating size right there, boys. And I got a man that wants them, too. I want to see that squirrel flopping, younger boy. That's squirrel number three, by the way. Boys, I shot through a keyhole over there to hit the head on that squirrel. I'm pretty sure that's where I've got him. That second squirrel wasn't so bad, but that third squirrel boy was a keyhole. Winds out here are light with a few higher gusts, but not bad. This is a real nice day. We're going to sit here a little while longer. I didn't even see that third squirrel until the gun went off on the second squirrel. Ah, boy, the squirrels two and three I've not went and picked up yet. They both flopped a lot when they hit the ground. 47 yards on a laser. You see, I could bullshit you, couldn't I? I could tell you those were 67. Well, they're 47. that tree that's under the camera right there. 24X. That's where they come out of. I'll go over here and pick these two squirrels up. Now I'm in this same place I was in here just a few days ago when the wind run me out. And the man in deer hunting just said he's seen a lot of squirrels but I both, I've not seen that many squirrels in here but I need to go back up in here. I'll bet both them squirrels there are young, but I could be wrong, but I'll say they're both young. It's hanging off close to these old snags right in here. Yeah, both squirrels two and three. You see that old head on that one, and you see the head on that one. That one right there was in an awkward position in that tree for me to shoot him. But about 47 yards. There's more squirrels in here than this surely one. One is young and one is a little older, but not real old. You see what time it is. I've seen four squirrels total and I've killed three out of four. That's it. Now, boys, it's tranquil out here. It's just maybe a three mile an hour wind at times. Less than that, a whole lot of times. Just enough to move the beech leaves on these old trees. I figure it's about 52 out here right now, 53. This is ideal. I'm sitting where I can see probably the most acreage on this farm from one spot in the woods. It's pretty thick in here. They cut this timber about nine years ago. It had some big old oaks on it, boys. Well, these woods are pretty cluttered, but we're going to sit in here a while longer. Boys, we've got number four. I couldn't get him in the camera. He went up that big old old hill there. Almost went to the top of it. I shot him over at that old log. Fifty-four yards. He's laying right in there. You might see him in this camera. He's right in there laying. Just this side of that log. Yeah, boys, we're closing in on that squirrel there by that big oak. I got down on my knees here with this shooting stick. Boy, there's some oversized chipmunks in here. I had to 
You take a look at one with his rifle skull. He looks like a gray squirrel, a young gray squirrel. He's so big. Let's get over here and see where we've hit this squirrel here. He's got a red head, boy. There, boy, that's 54 yards. This next is or this Arkenscope is doing a good job in these bright conditions. Nine power, all these squirrels shot on nine X. Good boys, I've seen five squirrels and killed four. See what time it is 301. Now you know, I'm sort of a weather nut. You know, I pay attention to the weather. Do you know how many days in January that I have seen it this warm and be this calm? I don't know if I've ever seen a day like this or not. It's about 54 degrees, and boys, I mean, that's just a twitch breeze. It's been like that all day. I wonder what that means. Oh, we've got a phone down here. I don't know if I can get the camera on or not. A lot of glare in the camera. He's sitting there eating the nuts. Oh, boy, that squirrel right there hit the ground like a sack of takers. Shoot straight into the sun, too. See that sun up there? There's no sunshade on that next go, boys. Pretty good little shot right there. Let's see if we can get that laser down in there. Can you can't even get a laser lock on down in there. into the sun, boys. I like that. I never found this squirrel, boys. I want you to look at the blood. That blood led me to him. Let's see what this old boy killed out here. He took the back of his head off. A pretty good little shot there, boys. Off this little primus stick. Well, there you go, boys. Five eighths gray squirrels all head busted. I've seen six squirrels total. And for this time of the year in these conditions, this would be considered probably a sorry ass hunt for time spent in the woods. But now this farm is rough. And it ain't got that much water. But I got a farm I'm going to hunt start next week. Weather permitting, it's got some good water on it. Deer season for the kids closes Sunday.